Hello and welcome back to Legendary Iron Man, War of the Chosen 2. Um, Long War of the Chosen 2. My name is Heiken and this is the third installment of our massive, massive enemy material map. It turned out to be way more than what we would have expected. Uh, 40 enemies that we're fighting against. I think we've killed 24, maybe almost 30 at the moment. Team is in a decent shape. But we do have one, two stun lancers, a gunner, uh, gunner over here. We got one, two uh, troopers over here, three troopers. I think there was a grenadier somewhere, a rocketeer. Yeah, I think there was another rocketeer somewhere. Anyhow, it. It is a lot, like we're fighting many, many enemies at once. So let's do it in a systematic uh, fashion. Number one, we need to use our revival protocol to get the unconscious second specialist back up. If I haven't said it but, uh, yet, I will say it again, Revival Protocol is just absolutely amazing, fantastic, definitely get it. Secondly, let's take a shot. Sunlight that take some damage. Good, next up, <coughs> before we take a shot, Let's reload here so that we do have maximum ammunition. We're then taking the shot for hit and run. He's down to 1 HP. And let's kill him. Alright, soldier down. Next up, reload. And we're now taking out one threat at a time. I know that I'm going to be flanked over here by the gunner, but I'll take care of him in just a second. Gotta have faith in our ability to clean the battlefield. Moving in. Let's see, that's a 100% chance to kill him. But before we do that, can our sniper help? I want to make sure that, that we're definitely picking the most dangerous targets first. <clears throat> so, trooper, dangerous, rocketeer, way more dangerous. Uh, so it's probably our target. Another trooper and another trooper. Okay. Let's soften up the rocket here and see if we can at least hit it. There's another one here. Um, eight hit point. Looks like an advanced... Looks like an advanced um, scout. So let's steady our weapon. I don't, I don't know where that scout is currently located. It's probably just a misplacement error. Anyways, moving on. We want to critically hit him and hopefully kill him. That worked quite well. Now time for. Uh, time for the gunner that I was mentioning earlier. We're going back into full cover. Ninety-one percent. Come on. Not a crit, but solid damage.
Good, we have decimated the field quite a lot. So let's over uh, let's give Wolfman an aid protocol. And I think reload Overwatch with our rookie. So the troopers are taking care about the loss, which I don't mind at all, because they don't take shots at us. This trooper, however, does. Could have been a nice um, hit, an overwatch hit. Okay, that works out well so far. I think we're slowly but surely getting the overhand, uh, the upper hand against Advent. Time for us to flank them and hopefully kill two more. We took only one point of damage, so really solid response time uh, turn. And it's time for the Lost. Here we go. They trigger Overwatch. Good, sniper first. <clears throat> we could kill a few loss. Could get rid of the trooper. Could get rid of this trooper here, which I would almost prefer because he's so far back and he's going to be hard to get to unless we can kill him. Come on. Nice, nice. I think we're going to reload because we're almost out of ammunition. Uh, I want to kill this guy, but at the same time, I also don't want to mess up our position. So let's use our rookie here. Taking out a few of the loss isn't the worst idea for her. Okay, first things first. We want to kill this guy. Hundred percent hit, fifty percent chance to crit. Oh wow, look at him. <laughs> that was pretty cool.
Got no run and gun. We could deal uh, with... What's our chance to normally hit the trooper here? You know what? I'll do the following. Although flanking would be cooler. We're currently not having the movement to do all of it. Which means reloading, taking the good old 100% shots. And then it's a 90% shot for, for the trooper. And even with minimum damage, we would kill him. Yeah, that's what I thought. Moving down here. Yeah, yeah, let's take the shot. Okay, very good. And reload. Hmm. Let's position ourselves over here. It's a different angle. It's full cover. And I think we need the uh, we need uh, the specialist mostly for a regular aid protocol. Go on, move down there. Three hit points are really dangerous to frontline, and I also don't want to cluster up the problem with uh, with um, the specialist specifically is he doesn't have a med kit so if we're meeting vipers would be an easy task to essentially hit him okay we're going to overwatch Pretty successful turn. Kill two, three. This guy says he's backing up. Let's let's see precisely where he's moving to, because backing up means it's a nicer way of saying he's consolidating together with other enemies. So it gives us an idea where another pack might be. Before we trigger another pack though, I'd like to get the run and gun abilities spec as well as uh, the defensive cooldowns and reposition the sniper. So let's be careful here. Is he moving or not? Let me double check what, what's happening here. All right, back. Uh, I needed to restart the game. So, in the meantime, what happened is we took one point of damage. Uh, the trooper still decided to stay. So, we're mildly damaged here and everything else died. Which means, going forward... Wondering about his position, which is pretty strong. I don't want to scout here. It seems like a trap. The 
So let's slowly but surely move everyone back and let him come. Good. We're moving the sniper to a better position. It's actually a really good time for a transition. And our front line needs to slightly fall back. And by slightly, I mean uh, reload and probably go all the way back here. Move it back into full cover. We're still okay on the front line. Six and five hit points with one point of armor are fine. But it's getting to the point where I don't know how many how many additional packs we can effectively kill with this team here. We're getting out of resources. We don't have any grenades left. So I'm hoping that we're not finding like a massive further pack. Okay, <sighs> He's slowly but surely wiggling us down, which I really do not appreciate. And there is still plenty of alien activity from the looks of it. There seems to be more alien activity, otherwise it wouldn't take that long. Don't want to waste a run and gun. So I want to have the skill available if we're meeting the next pack. That's the position I was looking for. That's a nice little flanking shot. Sixty-four percent. Yeah, let's, let's pull him out. I'm getting incredibly frustrated with him. Putting the sniper back into position. And let's hopefully kill the last trooper. There's one more lost over there, but I'm not too concerned about that. Moving up into full cover. I feel the full cover is good. Strong position for us and we could reach everything from there. From the alien activity, just from the length of how long it takes, it seems like at least two more pots or some or something big is moving. I don't know. 
Another lost swarm appears. Probably the fourth or fifth by now. Maybe even more. Wow, what a mission. Let's make sure that we take out some of the loss. I'm not sure, but it, it feels like we're getting a lot of promotions after this mission. Or everyone leaves in a body bag. Wow, two towers up here. Look at that, guys. Might want to deal with the tower soon. One down. Thousands to go. Big deal. I'm happy that we brought the sidearm. This turns out to be a really good decision. Although it has the weapon range fall off is quite large, but I'm expecting once the sniper is like high level, he could actually kill an entire uh, army's loss of swarms. Okay. He hit every single shot, which means we're going to steady the weapon just in case something is coming up. Slightly moving back. Reload overwatch. Reload overwatch. Reload overwatch. Yeah, that... There is no point in taking those shots. Good. I would be hoping that we could trigger a single pack. Still thinking that there are at least two, maybe three more packs out there. Maybe a smaller one, just so we get more freedom of movement here. I still feel very limited. As soon as we go around the, uh, the house, it feels that there are still a lot of enemies. It's just too much movement. The, the movement time is too long.
I am going to try to take the left hand side so that we can climb up and kill the towers with the sniper. Good, left hand side it is. Moving over here. Just want to double check that we're not triggering another pack. We can still move back into full cover. This position here isn't too bad. That should have been the last of the loss for now. Good. Let's slowly but surely advance. We do have a lot of SMGs, so that's fast advancement opportunity. But essentially very low damage. SMG, SMG, so two SMGs in the front line are the uh, pulp weapon of our skirmisher isn't too great either. SMGs also need to regularly reload very low ammunition. Might as well want to reload with the shotguns as well. I should have st uh, steadied the I should have steadied the sniper instead. Good, next two turns is most likely going to be going on, uh, going upstairs, scouting out the tower, killing it with a sniper, going downstairs. Rinse and repeat. We did not see any movement. Still, it took a while for them to move. Loss, uh, there aren't any loss, elsewise we would have seen movement. Okay, so... Whew. Probably three more packs, I would say. This should trigger two of the towers. And it seems to also trigger a soldier over here. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Wow. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so mech plus mutant plus two vipers. 
Stun Lancer and Normal Trooper. Okay, so I can already tell you we're not going to kill the towers this turn. Could position ourselves here with run and gun. I think we're going to do that. I'll scout out where they position themselves here. And then we run and gun and kill upstairs. So we're going to use the... the Mech is going to die first. The Vipers in here are dangerous, but they can't get out of the window, so they would need to take all the way around here. Which means we just gotta withdraw a little bit. Could move up, grapple hook. Uh, but we can't move and take a shot then. Unless we could grapple somewhere to here. Then take a shot and then move into cover. The two towers are too strong. Can't, le uh, can't leave them unchecked. That's not a smart choice. Okay, so I think the assaults are going in. The rest is uh, withdrawing. We want to stay clear of this window. Can also use this assault to actually hit him once, kill him with the sniper. Second assault moves in, kills the stun lancer because of the critical strike. I think that's what we're going to do. And we're going to give him an aid protocol. Okay. Four to six. I think that's going to soften him up. Yeah. Good, good. Are you just telling me we can't hit the 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 Mac because there's a lantern in the way? See, that's clever. Ex uh, that the Advent soldiers, specifically the Mac coincidentally positioned itself so that the sniper can't hit it. Isn't that funny how well the computer sometimes can calculate uh, can calculate these really really mi minute uh, nuances? A human player wouldn't be able to do that. Nine and ninety-nine percent shot missed. Okay. The game basically tells me to fuck off. I respect that. But I regret to inform you that I won't do that. We're going in and we're going to kill the smack. Hundred percent. Really saw a chance to kill it. Good. Most dangerous foe eliminated. Like it. Problem is still the stun lancer. Problem is still the stun lancer. Mm. 
could grapple up here, but the towers would see us, and that's an issue. Hmm. Send our rookie up here. That's outside of the window range. And we can move her up if needed to finish something off. Turbo moves back. Basically into full cover. Can almost uh, always move back down if needed. For now I don't want him to position in half cover. And there we go, 8 protocol. Stun Lancer will probably go, uh, will most likely go in and stun Lance. Gonna go into full cover here as well. And time for Wolfman to take another 8 protocol. I'd like to go over here. It's far enough away from the window. We have a couple of hit points to spare. And it will flank one of them. Unfortunately, the civilians are yelling. That's never a good sign because it will attract additional packs. Come on, hit him so we can get another shot. Nice. Get another shot. No reason to con uh, not to continue. Come on, kill him. Good. That's one down. Meaning we're down to a mutant, two vipers, and the stun lancer, and of course the two towers, which shouldn't be underestimated. Mutant climbs up, that should be a double move for for what I cons uh, for what I would know. Single move tongue grab, okay, well. All right, I think it's fair to conclude our rookie is in a pretty tough spot. And we just saw the, another pack. I was about to say we just triggered another pack. Luckily, we didn't. Mutant is super dangerous. We got to deal with him. ASAP. Stun Lance is dangerous. Almost everything here is in some shape or form dangerous. Come on. Can the Lost please hit the Viper, which is strangulating the rookie?
Yeah, with poison and bound, we're going to have a really hard time. At least her poison has stopped. So now it's a matter of killing the stun lancer with one shot. Nice, that was good. Yeah, might as well steady the weapon. I'm pretty sure I can score a kill next turn. Nope, we certainly don't want to use Justice Punch. Could move all the way up here and then just Retaliation Strike it. Okay, my question is, will this here trigger the pack downstairs? <sighs> that's an, that's a problem. This here will definitely trigger the pack downstairs. The two towers are amazingly annoying, if you consider it. One could think about run gunning down here, taking a shot at the Viper. Or yeah, down here. That would <clears throat> leave the mutant without a real target up there. I know that we can kill the mutant, which would be a huge step, but I am very afraid we have seen the pack, uh, the other pack seems to be like right here ish. Yeah, that looks into this direction. So, yeah, they are standing here, which means this here might be in. Invision range could stand in the open, but that would be an invitation for the towers to deal a lot of damage. I mean, they are bad at aiming, but they are not that bad. I need to make a decision if I want to let the mutant live and go for the vipers downstairs. Or alternatively kill the mutant and let the vipers live, which in essence also means uh, the rookie is probably going to die. I think we need to go for the vipers. We could grapple ourselves up here and then go down could move to here grapple up to here yeah but we can't move then and take another shot uh -uh. needs to be grappled first Unfortunately, we don't have um, the ability to pass on actions because if the sniper could clean up some of the towers up here, it would look different. We could actually take on the mutant. No, we're probably going to here taking a single shot. Seems like a reasonable action. Moving down here means uh, that the mutant would still stay alive. But we probably would be able to kill one 
if not both of the vipers. Essentially moving in here, it would be the really aggressive uh, play. We know that they are currently standing like here, then they couldn't see us. So essentially moving into here isn't even a bad idea. Moving all the way to here, pretty close. And, and we could kill her. The mutant would need to double move, couldn't just follow us. Plus it solves the problem with the towers. Ninety-nine percent chance, and there is a good percent chance of a crit. That's exactly what I was looking for. Nice little critical strike. Can't move away really from it. There's a good chance, more than a third, that we could uh, kill the Viper outright. We can't move away uh, from them because we would get poisoned and essentially die. So might as well take the shot. There we go. Maximum damage. So we don't have another run and gun. And this here might not be the safest place ever. Considering that the mutant is like one move away. But we can clean house, 99%, even a chance for a instant kill. That's what I'm talking about. Moving over here, and if we overwatch, I think that the mutant will focus on him rather on uh, than on anyone else. So we killed everyone short of the mutant and the two towers, right? Right, okay. Got to be careful. The mutant could knock... Um, could knock a lot of our operatives out with one shot. So moving only into full cover. We're getting really, really injured now. So I hope that there are not so many packs left. Zero percent, yeah. No, we're not going to do a zero percent. We're taking a nice little overwatch here and that's about it. Suppression? No, normal shot. Okay. The mutant is yelling. That'll definitely attract the other pack.
Wow, our overwatches are so bad. It's it's amazing. Swarm is very close, okay? Could hit uh, the zombie, but much rather would like to go for the mutant. Whom we can only soften up, so... We don't have a reload if we hit him normally. Could try to move up, but it would take some time. Move to here. Problem is we need we need to reload. We have no run and gun left. That's actually an issue. Okay, let's kill the zombie first. Okay, and we're not moving because we're in the middle of poison. Let's take an overwatch trap here. I wouldn't know what else to do. The mutant has a super solid position there. Take a single shot, maybe able to injure him. Nope. That means no sniper shot next turn. A protocol for Wolfman. So I got the feeling he might need it when the mutant is coming for him. And everyone else is going on Overwatch. So the mutant would need to take a move now or fall back. Takes a move, slightly hit and shredded, I like it. <sighs> wow, that would have been a kill. But you just majorly fucked up, my friend. You is tripping, as they say. You is tripping. Because now the mutant stands in the open, and that's gonna hurt. Oh, 
Oh, really? That's like what? The sixth uh, lost swarm. There we go. Loss are on the run. Okay, wow. Well, yeah. Good. Sniper needs to reload. Try to get rid of all of these guys or mark the mutant. Well, the marking of the mutant very much depends on our ability to hit it. which is 100% plus 100% crit. I consider that satisfactory. Just gotta kill some loss beforehand. Alright, Turbo here has Shredder, which helps us a lot with the armor of uh, the of the mutant. Let's just get rid of those guys here. And instead of reloading, I'd like to give Wolfman here an aid protocol because there are losses above him and he's probably going to be the one killing the mutant. Wow, 50-50, although we're so close. Moving to here. Eighty percent. Let's hit the guy. That's good enough because he's low enough now to almost securely be eliminated. Can I don't want to take the ninety five percent shot. Instead, reload, so we're full of ammunition afterwards, and let's eliminate the mutant. Nice little flanking shot, 100%. There we go. All right, we're reloading, and then we're going to take a shot, uh, an Overwatch. That's the sixth um, reinforcement of losses which we ju uh, which we just had. So if I count that together alone. We're looking at what 72 loss 
just from the reinforcements. Got to put her slightly out of reach of the loss. Matter of fact, they could run around here and still reach her. So let's put her into the cell. Um, so 72 alone from the loss. We have killed seven in the first pack, six in the second pack, uh, four in the third pack, so that's 17. Then we had another six pack, 23. Then this pack here, which was mutant, two vipers, two soldiers, and a mech. So that's 29. Two towers, 31. These two, 33. Loss. Gigantous amounts of loss. I think the pack over there might be the last one. Might. The mutant pack was really, really large. All right, that's one down. Okay, some of the lost to take the towers, which is funny. We need to heal up our front line. Specifically, Wolfman here has taken quite a couple of shots. Wolfman can't just move up, which is okay. We can kill the towers next turn. I just want to get away from... I just want to get away from... the actual house. Two more losses on top of the roof, and we know there is at least one more pack. Okay, I don't think that we're going to trigger anything, so might as well heal him, which means we got an another frontliner again. Time to reload very soon. Just want everyone to go back. Our rookie probably has the hardest time doing that.
We might want to evac her. I don't see how she can be helpful with one hit point. Other than like going in and hunkering down. All right, Overwatch it is. We need to kill the two towers. That way, finally, the rooftop will be accessible for us. All right, I had to restart again. Uh, the game is crashing more and more. I think it's just the absolute maximum number of models that you could have on a single mission. Let's use our grapple, kill the towers, reload. Nothing much that I want to do during this turn. So we're grappling up. And let's use our sniper to essentially eliminate this one tower. Hasn't fully worked out, so instead we're going for full cover. And let's kill the tower. Of course. Well, we're giving an aid protocol to Harbringer over here. Reload. <clears throat> Getting into full cover. Our rookie will move away. Gosh, so many frame drops now. Reload. And Overwatch, we're having run and gun ready again, which is important. And yeah, just Overwatch. All right, let's see where the enemy is. Haven't had a sign of them. I think it's one more pack. Time for the tower to act. It is deciding to overwatch. Oh boy, another swarm is coming. I cannot overstate how how many enemies we must have killed. Like I think we're past the 100 mark. Seriously. Okay, luckily, we do have a sniper supporting here. One down. To go. Of course, now we're hitting critically. Our rookie begins to move out of uh, the map. Affirmative. Covering now. 
and I think we're okay being here. In case someone comes from the left, uh, this is a nice little fire line. Gosh. We're still fighting. Oh, man, that's a long mission. There we go. We just triggered the next pick. Uh, squad made panic. That's definitely not what we wanted to see. Okay, we can definitely we can rush up. What another lost swarm? Guys, seriously. And I was so happy that we killed the first tower, I just wanted to kill the second one so that we can finally take the rooftop, but no. Interestingly enough, there is a lot of retribution going on. Look at that. The skirmisher is essentially like flailing them one by one. Interesting. Okay, time for fortification. Hmm, can't can't reach the top. We're being too far away and can't even reach the top here. Hmm. First things first. Let's get the rook. Uh, let's extract the rookie out of here. Yeah, that's only a 55% chance. <laughs> well, we're getting the extra cover. That's not, not bad. We will just stay here for this turn. And I'll run and gun next turn. The Viper has a too strong position. Oh my gosh. Oh. That's not what we needed. How many are these? Two, four, six.
Luckily, not the most dangerous enemies. Let's first and foremost get those guys here out of the way. Okay, why are we fighting against eight again? <clears throat> I was just killing a tower. And instead of leaving me alone, we're fighting against eight enemies again. So we could kill the drone 100%, or almost 100%. Or we're going for the Stun Lancer. I think the Stun Lancer is a better idea because he can be very annoying. 70% is actually quite good. Let's hit him. There, you go. there we go. I would want to steady the weapon to score some kills next turn. We might be able to take over the drone. 40%. Seems about right. Yep. That's good because the drone will now be the main punching ball for all of these guys here. Two armor, five hit points. Good enough. Can we already act with the drone? No, it's out of actions. Still got way too much going on on this side. I think we're going, we need to go revival protocol. Yeah, that way we can fall back and the Viper needs to do something. Of course, could also move here, kill the Viper, right? Nothing wrong with that. Let's take the no-brainer activities, 100% shots that kill, for instance. I mean, we could go to here and then try to drag this guy out of cover, right? Uh, of course, moving to here would be an option, but like I said, the rooftop seems to be a bit too dangerous. For now, not the right decision to go there. If we put him here as well, he's the first target for all of the losses to walk to. And with his um, Blade Storm, he can take a lot of them down in just one strike. Fifty percent, two troopers here. Fifty-six, fifty-six. Might as well take this guy here. Fire, 
If we're successful, he dies because no, he would take four points of damage and be in direct range for a blade storm. Wow, the game has completely slowed down to a grinding halt. I will just overwatch for now. The guy with the least hit points should get the aid protocol. Got a couple of 70% shots, but all of the advent shots are too low. So we're instead going to overwatch here as well. Too bad, could have been a kill. Drone is taking some substantial damage, but that's okay. If the drone dies, they are down to four. We have a Viper and a Sector upstairs. Sector now comes down here just got to be careful with this side ironically the viper drops down as well start killing the drone the loss please attack some of the advent that would be awesome Wow. Good, finally they started to move. Here we go, overwatch shots. Lots of misses here. Tower is starting to go down. Whew. I think these are the last two picks. Hopefully. 
We should be about 40 enemies then. Okay, we could kill the Viper. We got a lot of enemies uh, here. Still four of them plus the sector and the viper so that six of them can't just ignore that could move up to here take a shot kill this guy which is probably the safest way of starting to to thin them out A protocol will counteract the um, the mark that he has. So let's assume we kill uh, the trooper. That would be then still five enemies left uh, over plus the zombie consider to kill this guy 50 50 to kill the zombie I think we're going to do the grapple next turn Gotta do a reload this turn. Yeah, we gotta do a reload this turn. Grappling and flanking with um, him will be a next turn thing. We may end up with an overwatch here. A protocol. Getting into full cover, hopefully we can kill the one lost here. We can't really, and I'm not going to take 10% shots, so we're instead overwatching. We could run and gun in here. Matter of fact, to here and take a shot um, at the Viper or here.
This here would be incredibly aggressive. We would probably take all of the all of uh, the attacks, and we only have five hit points left, so might not be the best co course of the action. We could. Move up to here, full cover, and then run and gun next turn. I'm going. Not a bad choice. What we could try is, we could try to stun someone. That's only a 35% chance into full cover, so might as well reload. In terms of shooting, the zombie could be a kill, and we would get a death from above reset, 100% hit. Plus, it hits quite hard in melee. It is set up for a kill. So if we're overwatching, there is a chance uh, that if the zombie comes closer, that we're actually going to um, take one shot and hit it. Okay. We got a few hits in. That's good. It's a start. We're now going to. Oh, yeah, they are overwatching. Well, that's not bad. The zombie will probably go in. I'm, it can almost even reach us. Mind spin. Nope. Was well, still on cooldown. Next turn he will mind spin. I think the tower might die. Come on, miss. Ooh. Stop it moving. We are really pretty injured. Oh, the tower. Yep, the tower is down. Good job. That takes care about the fucking second tower. I think that's one of the longest missions that I've ever played. We're 90 minutes into the third uh, part of the episode and the only reason why I'm not cutting it off is because I don't want to have a fourth part of that mission. Okay. 
Okay, so. Hundred percent shot to kill the advent the advent um, captain, which we are going to do. It's going to trigger death from above. Very important. Yeah, we need to reload. Time to deal with the Viper. Now that the tower is gone, I'm not afraid about the loss. Might as well take a flanking position. Free our... Free our uh, frontliner. Here we go. 100% uh, shot. That will give us a second shot. Four to six. Hmm. It's time to get aggressive. I am not afraid about the sector. He will use a mind spin next turn. Maybe he will f uh, take a shot, but it's only three points of damage. Hundred percent. Let's kill the gunner. Ooh. Ooh, look at you. Ready to rock. Hundred percent, ninety-five percent. No, we're going with a hundred percent. Nice, two Larium cores, that's 40 supplies right there. 50-50 to finish the gunner. There we go. Let's give an aid protocol just so that we're not getting flanked. And unless something completely crazy happens, I think that we can win next turn. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Well, we got a revival protocol for that. Not another swarm. I'm so done with the loss. I think my machine can't can't handle any loss anymore.
the entire area here looks like in like a complete war zone. This should take care of the trooper. Trooper down. Last revival protocol. Let's use our sniper and start setting this up. So we got a 51% chance here. Okay, I think we can move right next to it and kill it with a melee attack. This here should should do the trick. Moving up, and I hope that the retribution will actually kill him. Taking care of, Taking care of the loss here. Good, we're reloading, <sighs> and let's hope that that's it. It's going to move away, hit, kill. I can't believe that after four and a half hours of battle, we've done it. Let's see what the result is going to look. 150 kills. I got a screenshot that. I got a screenshot that. Every single soldier is wounded. You know what? Let's take a mission photo.
Can we do some... There we go. Here, randomize. Okay, I like it. So, text. Hundred fifty kills onslaught. Wow, what a mission. I am expecting nothing short of six promotions here. There you go. Everything else would have been not justified. Six four sixteen. Uh, the Wounding days aren't too bad. So let's go close and personal here. Harbringer. I really like the lightning reflexes piece. That's that was pretty good. That one is also good. I mean, low profile is also pretty good because, hmm, this here is more mobility. It's difficult because both of these tracks here are incredibly good. Question is more mobility or full cover? I think we're going with a full cover. And the lightning reflexes. No, we're not using XCOM pool points. Yeah, formidable. It would definitely help him. That's a good one as well. That's a good one. That's a good one. A lot of shooting skills here. So. I, th I still think that we should get in fighter. Because the dodge is pretty handy. Yeah, definitely low profile. Yeah, we're probably waiting for kill zone and combat fitness here. I like this, but it's unrealistic that he's going to trigger Overwatch fire anyways. Field Surgeon should have had that earlier. Would have reduced all of these um, sickness times. And our rookie is has become a Grenadier. I think that makes a lot of sense. And finally, we got Field Medic with additional charges. Very helpful. Suppression, by the way, is also good. Salvo, however, is even better. Serial is incredibly good. Yeah, both of these are good. But he needs a real gun for that, and 24 days is a long time. So now, we've gotten four Illyrium cores, shit ton of loot. 108 uh, lost corpses, so it, the lost alone were uh, uh, north of 100. Supplies, corpses, more corpses. That's at least five, 600 um, uh, just worth in loot. We completely wrecked that one mission. I mean, it was intense. 
But boy, oh boy, was that a long mission. And where is the wounded? Lightly wounded, infiltrating, wounded. Here we go. Let's color code her real quick. Good. She earned a bandana and an eye patch for that fight. Got 10 kills alone as a rookie on the first mission. You gotta you gotta achieve that with a rookie. Okay, let me double check which uh, of the rookies could use an extra hit points. Okay, done. So, let's take a look at the map. It's so long uh, after the mission started that I don't even uh, know what the overall deal was. Oh yeah, I wish we could continue here, but I think we got to heal. I remember we were currently infiltrating three missions in South Africa. Yeah, yeah. And there is the magnetic weapon. Plus, we got a prototype in our inventory. Okay, so battle armor, mobile armor, definitely a good idea. We're lacking the alien alloys for a magnetic weapon, which I think we can... If we instantly recover that. Okay, that's an ultrasonic lure. We don't need that. That was just the research there. I'm just thinking render a trooper corpse. I will make that our Once that has happened, we will be okay with the alloys. We can sell a lot of the stuff at the black market. So then we can continue researching. Got another mission, one day, 19 hours. The aliens deploy stronger and deadlier faceless units. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's good, but we can't do it in one day in 19 hours, so... It's unfortunately not going to happen. We will need to live with that. Another important step forward. Good. We got two alloys. I would like to do the Advent Stun Lancer Autopsy here. That'll give us access to better melee weapons. The Advent Stun Advent has made steady progress. So in terms of engineering, let's just double check. We had a lot of stuff that we could all of a sudden build. So nothing here really. Higher capacity magazines? Look at that. If we do have three expanded magazines, that's new.
Oh, okay, I see. So that's basically just researching it. Okay, fair enough. Anyways, that piece is not what I was looking for. I was looking for a simple build item. Nope, that's fine. Um, that one here would actually be pretty good. 25 supplies. Might want to consider buying a few of those. Um, this here certainly would be good. Yeah. I mean, they are reasonably expensive. There's a, they used to be a lot more expensive. So I think we might want to upgrade it, but I'll do that prior to the next mission. No need to do that now. I would like to get the Bigger weapons. Excuse me. It's 26 Intel. Sabotage a monument. No, we definitely don't want to sabotage any monument. That will just increase the vigilance and we don't need more attention. We have vigilance 14 in North Africa. That's more than enough. Wow, we got a lot of Valerium cores. Nothing wrong with that. But also nothing wrong with a lot of money. Okay, now back to our research. We can resume the um, Sun Lancer research after the weapons are done. But I was looking for advanced uh, magnetic weapons and it's only 14 days. I'll direct our efforts towards the new research project immediately, Commander. Once we've made progress, I'll send word. Yet another mission, okay. I like the engineer and it's five days, 22 hours. Let's see if we could make that work. Not sure if we can even field a team. We quite literally cannot field a team, look at that. <clears throat> Unless we're interrupting another mission. And we won't sit, uh, solo run the mission, so <clears throat> the engineer will not be freed. It's a good mission. I like the reward. Absolutely phenomenal. Can we maybe start another mission early? No, 64%. So 
62%. Nope. We could use another scientist, but we're getting that uh, already here, yeah. Perfect. That was important. Healing rate reduction is super critical because our wounding times were just way too long. Now we're down to more reasonable times. few hours and since it stacks with the re uh, wounding time reduction from the Templars I'm continuing to scan with the Templars ten days Intel package okay Destroy an alien relay. That looks pretty, pretty damn good. You can do that once uh, more people have recovered from their wounds. So let's say in one or two days. Yes. Or we're simply forcing to do Operation Tombstep, evac our resistance recruiters and protect our assets. So we still got, we, we would get four Five. five back in one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll get a lot back in the next few hours. We got a recruit here in West Africa. Obviously, the recruiting has worked out well. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for assignments. What? We do have engineers sitting around. Oh, the engineer was kicked off of a project because he was he was in the region that is now being attacked. Okay. So pretty soon those will recover. We currently have one, two, three, four people available with three more, maybe four more. We should be fine.
Unfortunately, the Geoscape is lagging quite a bit, so I almost immediately need to hit Escape. Seven more hours. We got one, two, three, four, five, six available. Seven more hours until the next one would be available. Might as well need to be forced to run the mission now. Yeah, three hours. All right, after quite, quite some searching, I finally equipped the squad. Uh, really solid equipment, armor upgrades, uh, really good weapons. So the mission should be a success and I'm actually looking forward for it, but we're definitely going to do that in the next episode. This one here has gone way, way too long. I would encourage thumbs up for 150 kill mission. Uh, that was a pretty rough and long mission. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next mission. Bye bye.